ways, and I think that's the biggest sign that this game should be incredibly competitive. I think the other three games might be more of a kind of, they're more of a heavy favorite versus underdog type of battle, but this one more equally matched. Like I said, you know, VY does have the experience factor, has the winnings advantage a little bit, but Mr. Football, man, he's really come onto the scene, especially this year, has a lot of momentum, a lot of steam going into this game. For those uh, just joining us, it's your first time checking out Competitive Madden. Hope you'll enjoy your evening here. Tyler, you saw right there a delay game, a common gentleman's agreement here in the Competitive Game of Madden. A little gentleman's agreement to start it off. You know, both guys want to get their audibles, their substitution set on offense and defense. Now, VY, he's very interesting. He's unorthodox. He, he likes to hit the lab hard. He always has some unique kind of run schemes. He's going to need some passing, obviously, as well. But you might see some formations we haven't really seen. He's in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. And then here we see Mr. Football, who is in the Carolina – or he's in the uh, Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook. He's going to start off a little strong eye formation with Brett Favre at the helm. And he's got a man open. That's Reggie Bush. That's a broken coverage. Bush in open space. Play one, play time. Oh Mr. Football is here. And look at the stare into the camera from the confident young man from Eugene, Oregon. A touchdown on the first play. First play of the game, Mr. Football goes the distance, and he gives a little look into the camera like, hey, hello, I'm here to play. He says he's an accounting major right now. I don't know if he was accounting on that play to kick things off. That's got to get some of those nerves out of the way. Yeah, that's huge. VY got to be a little shook. First play of the game, blown coverage. Reggie Bush just wide open, and he goes to the end zone. Way too easy. Tyler, what happened here? Just a blown coverage, a streak from Reggie Bush out of the backfield, lined up at fullback, and no one, and I mean no one, is catching Reggie Bush in the open field. Try to get over there with the user on Taylor Mays. Let's look at this one more time, right into the camera. Smile for him, young fella. That wasn't, it was like a half smile. But that's got it for the nerves, TD. For a guy who said, this is my biggest game in the MCS ever, obviously I'm gonna be nervous. Kicking things off with a touchdown, it's gotta get that deep breath. Couldn't feel any better. You know, the nerves kicked in, his biggest game. Doesn't have the experience advantage, and to get a first play touchdown like that, for VY, a very mental mistake. You know, giving up a blown cover, just a streak out of the backfield. Super simple, but effective. And now here we go. We see VY. So he's in the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook. We have not seen What's this What's doing by VY? Oh, gone to wing? He's got a oh, little, he's got, a, he's got, looks like he's come out in a QB power, Nick, out of this gun yeah. wing. So look for some interesting That's formations cute. here. I, okay. And it is Josh Allen at quarterback for VY. And obviously, it was, it was like silence on the first drive. Now that Mr. Football is on top, talking a little more. An audible down, a little single back formation. He'll hand it off to Reggie Bush. Trying to get the Reggie Bush magic on play number one. He'll pick up two. A little power O RPO bubble right there. He took the power to the left side. He also had that bubble uh, RPO to the right side with some space. So maybe he might go back to that. But those power O's. Really the meta now as we head into the run game here later in the Madden 21 season. Madden 20 was all stretch and die. Madden 21, it's power O's and 0-1 traps. He's got the corner out if he wants him, and he does. That's Chad Johnson to the 48-yard line. So VY, two plays, he's already at midfield. That's beautiful, that's beautiful that's concept right there by VY. Just a flood that's right cute. there. No, the cute. wide that's side cute. of the field. He had a little table route, a corner route behind it versus football zone, and that's just wide open. Hear a little bit of chirping to kick things off. Here in Atlanta, four hours of Madden action tonight. The field is starting to take shape. Is that's Kyler Murray into the game in that Ooh, good win? Okay. Take okay. the read at option 13 yards for a first down. Yeah, you see he subs in Kyla Murray to go with a little QB wrap out of the spread formation. We haven't seen a lot of that. That's what Man, I was trying to point out. EY nice. always had God, some gimmicky, offense, uh, glitchy stuff that he usually cooks up. He goes to it right there for a big play with Kyla Murray. Allen rolling right. Look for that corner out of stop there. So how about he'll find the aforementioned Chris Cooley. Man, Ty, we've seen a lot of tight ends in play here in competitive Madden this year. Darren Waller, Vernon Davis, Todd Heat. Now Chris Cooley seems to be the hip choice. Yeah, Chris Cooley's super popular now. Chris Cooley in his NFL career was very versatile. Can use him a lot of ways here in Madden. You see VY going to that uh, tight end delay fade, which has become very popular lately. Kyler Murray. Trying to get some room out around the outside. Good defense there by Jackson. They'll lose one. 
Goes back to that QB wrap. So I, I don't believe you can hand that off. It does look like a read option, but you cannot hand that off to the running back in those situations. So if you're Mr. Football, you want to recognize that. Maybe set your cons maybe set your option defense to conservative so that it plays the quarterback uh, to get prepared for those type of situations. Second 11, Allen back into the game at quarterback. Looking left side, he's got Cooley once again out of bounds at the three-yard line. Boy, Ty, if there's anybody who had doubts to how good Josh Allen was, I feel like this weekend he, he put some of those doubts to rest. Man, how good was he last night? I mean, he's got to be in that MVP discussion when you're talking about guys like Mahomes and Rodgers. I've got to put him up there, after, especially after last night going into, well, going into Arizona <laughs> because San Francisco playing there. But um, I know they're kind of banged up on defense. But, man, what a performance that was. Now why not? Give it to the man who scored for Mr. Football. Legend, Football. Am I really this I cold? It, I'm really too young to be feeling this old. We got karaoke going here. Ty, game on. What do you want to sing? <laughs> oh, I don't know. What do I want to sing? A little, little Taylor Swift, maybe? I'm just kidding. But oh, yeah. Great drive oh, right there by VY. <laughs> great drive by VY. Way to retaliate. Way to come back. He was very balanced, too, there, Nick. You know, we saw a couple of those runs. We saw a QB rap. Mm -hmm. we, saw, we saw the passing with the post row. Um, as we see on the replay here, just a little simple hatback dive. Reggie Bush up the middle. But I was impressed with VY's performance to come back and tie this ball game up. Punch, counter punch. That's how we've started here in Atlanta. Mr. Football, I don't know. He, he hosts the first play of this drive. Goes as well as the first play of the last drive. Was able to house that one. They'll go into the I formation and give it to Adrian Peterson taking the carry. <clears throat> first play went 75 yards. Second play goes three. <clears throat> By the way, Nick, I'm a huge Whitney Houston guy, so that'll probably be my go-to choice. That makes sense. It makes sense. You have nothing. nothing. Come on, 146. Please, please, 146. Oh, he's begging for the 146. He wants to audible down. That's what he wants here. Going to the gun bunch now. So you see both guys kind of switching up their formations. I like this. They're not staying in one formation. These guys are very unique with their play styles. Second and seven out of the bunch. He'll motion out the motion back in. And Favre will take off. And he'll Favre. slide down. Not going to risk a QB hit. He'll pick up five. And there's been a big debate on who the best quarterback in mud is. Is it Josh Allen? Is it Brett Favre? And a lot of guys sometimes lean Allen because of the mobility, but you see right there, Favre gets it done uh, with no spy there, able to take it up the middle. You see VY in that big uh, double A gap, nickel, looking to bring maybe the mid blitz here. Third and one. Favre stepping up. Good pocket, but nowhere to go. And he's going to take the sack from a third and one to about a fourth and seven and They'll call it fourth and nine. He's got to hurry back to the line. Try to catch VY in this defense. Great coverage sack right there by VY. Mr. Football going a little tempo. See what he cooks up. Man to man coverage using some motion. Uh, VY can get a stop here. My, will the game have changed from that very first play over the middle? He's got him. Possession catch. Ocho Cinco picks up 10. Clutch dot right there by Mr. Football. A little motion slant. How good are those motion slants? For any guys out there trying to play competitive Madden, when you see man-to-man -man coverage, get those motion slants into your offense. Always usually can beat uh, that man with a lot of speed. And you see he had a kind of a slant post combo. Just a great cook-up, great dot right there by Mr. Football to convert on a crucial fourth down. 32 seconds and counting in the first quarter. Bunch tight end action. He's going to take a delay of game. It's a crucial five-yard penalty. Taking a little bit too much time right there. Audible from Bunch over to Bunch tight end. Going back to the Bunch tight end. And VY staying in that double A-gap. Now first and 15. Hands it off. That's Reggie Bush. Somehow finds his way for six. Didn't look like there was a ton of room up the middle there, TD. But he found his way for a good game. Didn't look like much there. Went to the halfback wham out of a single back deuce close. Able to kind of shake off a couple guys. Get some right. positive yardage. Well, after one, we stay where we thought we'd be. A close game. All tied up. Seven of these. I don't like the way this game is played so far, but we'll, we'll turn Let's up. go. So you hear Mr. Football saying, doesn't like how the game was played so far. I mean, you scored on your first play. You got to be kind of happy about that. Favre stepping right. He's going to try to throw to that crosser, but VY is so good on defense. I know. And he'll pick I know. that one off. Go the other way. It's prime time with the right. pick. Come on, Britt. 
Is there a day never Adam gets Reed old? Right there was a G cloud look at the Z code. As we hear some more I'm karaoke, so but just just a bad read right there by Mr. Football. I mean, no, that, hey, stripes, the, uh, the guy was in the zone. He had man to man coverage, but there was a zone on the sidelines that he just can't throw that. He should have no, took off with his quarterback now. for a couple yards. Bad decision. DY takes yeah, advantage, and you hear him. He's so all excited survivor. about it. Yeah, I'm sorry, Tyler. Really I, I couldn't hear you. Were you saying something? Yeah, I should just, 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 just went quiet. <laughs> I don't think anyone heard anything I just said. <laughs> Second and four. Allen outside of the pocket. He's got the corner out one more time. Did he get the feet and bounce? Yeah, he yeah, did to the 39 yard line. Eyes Nice little corner out. We saw him go back to that. We saw him do that earlier. He goes right back to it. Just a little flood concept out of that gun wing formation. You see, what's so interesting about this formation, Nick, is it's gun wing, so it's a two tight end personnel. But he's actually using a package to be able to get a receiver there at the other tight end spot. So it actually turns into three receiver personnel, which makes this offense much more lethal. Two tight ends, two wide receivers. How about a handoff? Reggie Bush. And Reggie Bush with all sorts of running room. He'll pick up a full 11 and another first down. VY's offense not slowed down whatsoever. And back to my point, that's what's so cool about Madden 21, the new personnel audibling. He's able to get the he's in he's in a two tight end uh formation, but he's able to get three receivers in there, really maybe catching Mr. Football off guard. Because remember, we talked to Mr. Football and he had no idea what VY was gonna run. So I think VY with his unorthodox style catching football a little off guard. Come on. Nice stop on first down, only a yard for Bush. VY Electrify had some success in this tournament. Certainly the veteran of this matchup, TD. As we get later in the game, that might come into play. Yeah, you know, he's done Giants Club the last few years, won the Madden 18 uh, Giants Club Championship. He actually joined the EMB crew, I think the year after that, or last year, and Evil O was in that crew, and he said Evil O kind of whooped him a lot in the Giants club, so he left the Giants club, came over to the Falcons because he believes it's a little bit easier, and so far, so good. They're down at five. Allen, on his own lineman, now he's got all sorts of room to run, and he'll pick up that Come first on. down. Play my gas right now. Did uh, did VY did uh did VY take take your spot in EMB? Is that what happened? <laughs> so the rumor on the street mm. is, but the you know, not it was exactly. all it was all patched up this weekend with the chunky <laughs> invitation. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Joke is my is my guy no matter what. It's down to ten. You're in the two minute warning. Alan Murray back into the game. This time he'll hand it to Reggie Bush, and Reggie Bush has an intimate meeting with Mr. Football's defense. Big hit after the game of one. Yeah, great defense right there. Stepping up for himself. But what a drive so far by VY. He's looked pretty unstoppable on offense. I mean, football hasn't had a chance, hasn't had an answer for him. And staying in that gun wing formation. You saw that mm -hmm. mobility with Josh Allen when he scrambled for that first down. You know, escape artist not really needed this year using that gunslinger, but Josh Allen does have that mobility when needed. And then if you need a little more mobility, he'll bring in Kyler Murray, second and nine, looking for the in route. Diving oh, catch, got him, one-on-one -on -one matchup. You know what I'm saying, see the mahi, R.P. Vivian Blake. Look at all the bossy gone. I have no idea what he just said, Nick. I don't know any of those lyrics, <laughs> but um, but he's looking good on offense, right? So that's all that matters. <laughs> That's how I sing when I don't know the lyrics to a song. Yeah. Exactly. Fun fact, song he's singing is Smash Mouth All-Star. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, who knew? That's a classic jam. First it goals. Stretch run for Bush. He said uh, his hopes after uh, hopefully winning a belt in Madden would be to go and compete on the court. This is so bad. <laughs> Both these guys got a lot of juice today. They're really they're letting it show out here. Let's see if Mr. Football has a defensive stand. VY went with a pistol stretch on that last play, which you don't see often. Very hands it to Bush. Good defense from Mr. Football. <clears throat> Is it the 6 o'clock time slot? Is it these guys are just a little more awake for this early game? Maybe. It could be the nerves. They're just trying to get it out. I don't know what the case may be, but if you're Mr. Football right here, this is a crucial stop. Hold him to three after he just had this phenomenal drive. Milked all this clock. He got to hold him to three right here. Third and goal. Davis in motion to the right side. Murray will keep it. 
on the uh, on the read option and will get met immediately. Go. Nowhere to go. Mr. Football with the stop, and he'll get a chance for a drive at the end of the first half. Mm -hmm. And that's where it gets so tough, that red zone. We've seen it so many times in these games. The red zone can be a deciding factor in the ball game. VUI going with some gimmicky plays there. You know, pistol, a little QB wrap. Mr. Football has the answer for it. So he's going to have some time. I know he has no timeouts, but he still should have about oh, a minute and ten left. I, but if you're VUI, not a bad drive. Use a lot of clock. 116. 116, no timeouts in a dream. I mean, yeah, you have a second half, Mr. Football. Are you called him out? Did this? you hear what he said, though? I have, I have <laughs> a minute 10, no timeouts, and a dream. Respect. Yeah. His dream, dream is to be leading at halftime. <laughs> I, I guess. Ball is down, kick is up, it's good. 10 7. EMB's VY Electrify takes the lead, minute 14 to go in the half. VY in a good spot does get ball at half as well. So if you're Mr. Football, though, plenty of time here. You know, you're going to have to get out of bounds. That, that mm -hmm. runoff is more critical this year than it has been in years past, especially with no timeouts. So look for Mr. Football. Maybe you can get one over the middle, get up there, hurry up and spike it, and then you got to start hitting the out of bounds passes, mm -hmm. try to get in the field goal range. If you have to see Mr. Football have any success stretching the field, remember his touchdown was a quick yeah, pass. In the slot. To Reggie Bush has been mostly underneath, and the one pass he tried to stretch the field ended up throwing a pick. Farm on first down. Quick pass to the plot. That's Reggie Bush, and another bit of a blown coverage. How about Bush picking up 24 on the play? Yeah, you know, he hasn't looked great on offense, but it's been two kind of blown coverages from VY to Reggie Bush, letting Mr. Football stay alive in this game. And Mr. Football, he started the game in that strong H wing. Uh, you know, I know there's not a lot of time here, but his second drive, he should have went back to that. Now he's strictly in the gun bunch. I think VY is going to be ready, very prepared for that. First and 10. Showing a lot of pressure up the middle. They'll drop off the user, but here comes the blitz. Great shot. Just getting rid of that. Edge, right? He was going to have a guy wide open on that out route right there. He just got he just got hit as he threw it. If he had a, he had a second more, he would have got that pass off for a big play. Probably got out of bounds. So fortunate break for VY. Second down and 10. Right far. And downfield. When you're this hot, this everybody's a critic. When you're this hot, everybody's a midget. All that's mean mugging from that mean nothing. Little deal position is one you dreamed of. Went from quarter to broke to half past rich. Did his volume get turned up? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Let him know, VY. He's mean mugging out here. Let's go. Big third, third down th for football right here. <laughs> Far third down. He'll take off. He'll pick up. Well, about happen. five, it's going to be fourth and three. Clock running under 35 seconds to go. Hmm. Coming back. Oh, how about the route combo there? A little baby out route to Chad Johnson. He'll spike it with 13 seconds off, which tells me, TD, he's going to take a shot towards the end zone. Yeah, but you might want to take your field goal here. Those edge threats for VY are really coming off the edge. I, really I noticed on that last like doing play. something stupid. I really do. I'm going to I'm going to calm myself down, but I really felt like doing something stupid. See, a smart <laughs> decision though here by footballs. This is the smart decision because 13 seconds if you get sacked or you anything, this half is over. You've got to take these points, tie the ball game going into the the half. It is up. It is good. 10-10. Nice little drive before the half for Mr. Football to tie this game up, leaving only nine seconds of the clock. Yeah, man. I just started to notice those those edge threats from VY. Uh, they are. They're really coming off the line. Crazy. Gonna be 10-10 at half. I played like play pretty rough this half. Not gonna cap. You gotta love when you get the live mid-game analysis. Yeah. We, got, we got the we got the analysis from football and we got the karaoke from VY. What more could you ask for? We got the analysis from football, we got the halftime show from VY. Can you weep? Yeah. Coming up next, VY will do his answer. rendition of Snow's Informer. Informer. <laughs> Shout out to anybody who heard that song in the nineties. Stretch road for Bush. Thoughts on that. Let this run run to halftime, and we will sit here all tied up. 
Teeny, the 20 minute game, it's turned into a 10 minute game. Do, does either player, do you feel like in your mind, have an edge right now? Uh, I'd probably say VY, just because he's getting the ball to start the second half. I mean, this yep. has been dead even, kind of what we expected going in. Uh, you know, no guy had really had the advantage, and that's what we've seen so far, 10-10. But I do give the advantage to VY slightly because he does get the ball to start the second half here. Halftime in the ATL. 10 all the score. VY will have the ball to start the second half. We'll see what musical renditions he has as we close this game out. Guys, don't forget, coming up tonight on Derwin James versus the World, presented by Oakley, Derwin goes for 13-0 against maybe his most dangerous foe yet in teammate and Charger star wide receiver Keenan Allen. That's tonight following the NFC South Club Finals right here. Twitch.tv slash EA Madden NFL should be an absolutely fantastic battle. And we're all kind of rooting for Keenan. Guys, December 19th and 20th, the Apex Legends Global Series Autumn Circuit showcases the best Apex players their super regions as they go head to head to compete for their share of a $500,000 prize pool. Coverage starts Saturday, December 19th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Stay tuned to twitch.tv forward slash play Apex to catch all the action. TD, you an Apex fan? You, you hop on the Apex Legends? Not a big Apex guy, man. I'm strictly sports, baby. My, uh, no surprise here as a, as a as a big boy myself. I love... I love <laughs> The big boys in Apex, a little caustic, a little Gibraltar. What, what don't you love? Like, You're speaking a different language to me, but I'm all for it, man. I love I could, competitive I could have made baby. up two names. You wouldn't have corrected me. <laughs> yeah, I love my two favorite people in Apex, Greg and the Orange. They're my favorite. I like the <laughs> Orange. So I'd root for him. First and 10. A uh, little RPO oh action. This God, should be the legal receiver downfield. No, it is you. indeed. <laughs> Second down. It's, yes, he didn't want the penalty. <laughs> Anyways, so. Oh my god, this guy's uh, terrible, dude. VY, Nick, laps. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> VY laps with Franchise from the EMB crew, and we saw Franchise run those gimmicky screen things that didn't work out for him, so maybe VY going to a little bit of that. That playbook here, a little rollout. Good defense right there by football. <laughs> he used everything right there. Phenomenal defense. Third down and six. Yeah, I can First try with the second half. Nice versus. Oh, you're a demon. Allen. Pressure on the middle. You think you're better than you are, homie. You think you are better than you are. Holy shit. Kendall <laughs> Fuller with the wheels right down Broad Street. Screaming just right up the A-gap. You are not good enough to pass on I feel like you're just playing Madden 10 back here. Right Madden 09 right with these... With these A gap nanos, he just came free up the middle. No one was even there. And that's a big turn of events right there for Mr. Football. And he's going to have perfect field. Well, now an opportunity for Mr. Football. Ty had the lone turnover of the first half, but he's able to get back on the clock with a stop of VY. And he's got pretty good field position at the 43. That was a big stop coming out in this bunch tight end. I want to see him audible down a little bit more, though. He had some success in that strong H wing. I don't want him to get one dimensional. He's going to quick hike him. Harv on first and 10, looking over the top. Does he have Terry? He's got a move on the three yard line. Takes the top off of one time. Big time dot right there by Mr. Football. Terry McLaurin, all that speed over the top, burns the man-to-man -man coverage, and he's in business at the three-yard line. Now does he have a goal line offense? And TD, I don't know how many people, sure. like, I, th this is the joy of ultimate team. I mean, how often do you think people would expect Terry McLaurin <laughs> to be absolutely burning Deion Sanders one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, you know, you don't expect that. Terry McLaurin, not known as a burner, ah, known as more of a pure yeah, receiver. But once horrible. again, man, this red zone is where it gets so tough. Both these guys, red zone oh. offense has been lacking. Oh. It's just sticking with these power rows and these fullback ties, man. You guys got to get a little bit more creative to cook up some red zone dots, some goal line dots. I'm running fullback dive. I'm running fullback dive. He's not running fullback dive. Shit. 
He ain't fall for it. <laughs> he tried to bamboozle him! <laughs> It's either fullback that have a power only situation. And both these guys know that. Well, remember, you can tell VY it's power O, it's fullback that. VY knows it's one of the two coming. It's not like he's playing a huge guessing game with him here. But third and goal, he's going to the bunch tight end. Is See Mr. Football trying to out karaoke VY? Is that what's happening here? <laughs> Get out there, Reggie. Be quick hacking this. Be quick hacking this. Get out there. Get out there, young man. Oh. Right and, he's got, and he's got the end zone touchdown for Mr. Football. I, I don't know if I pick PA or not. That's a big time run right there by Mr. Football. Reggie Bush has been his MVP. First play of the game, big touchdown. And now on third and goal when it's tough, he gets to the outside and gets All in right. for a big touchdown to go up seven. We got a lead on VY Electrify in the second half. Just make him pass, baby. Half. Make him fucking pass. I'm gonna need the second half of that analysis, Mr. Football. You're gonna be a commentator. We need, we need the, we need the why. We need the what just happened. That's just a statement, man. Come on, you'll learn. Stretch run for Bush. He gets the edge. He gets the end zone. Yeah, nice block out there by Chris Get Cooley, there, who we man. talked about earlier. Get out there! Let's go. See the emotion. Seventeen to ten. Hand off to Bush right up the middle. He'll pick uh, up a first down. A nice right there, little run for VY. You heard Mr. Football said make a pass. So VY ran it, it down his throat. Triple. It's been the Reggie Bush show for both guys here, especially for Mr. Football. That nice little stretch to the outside. Chris Cooley with that crazy That's block good. that uh, sealed it. BY going back to Reggie cool. here. Pretty good defense right there by Mr. Pass. Like if you're, if you're all in down against that against it, like what the fuck are you doing? Like it's my run. How about Mr. Football coming out in the nickel triple TD? Yeah, it's gotten a little more steam lately in the community, this nickel triple. We haven't seen it much though. Oh, and then it's just oh. through the A-gap every time. Not He's out here glitching them on defense. That's the second A gap straight up the middle sack that we've seen from Mr. Football. Phenomenal defense. And now VY outside of his game. Third and 18. You know, he doesn't like these type of situations. Let's see if Mr. Football dials it up. I think he's going to in that 1 4 6 defense. Third and 18. It's Allen. Nowhere to go. He'll pick up a yard. What and the? Wait, what? What? Yeah. Nick, I don't know about that play call. He didn't even put Kyler Murray in. He did the QB power with Josh Allen, Yo, no, who does not have he was the type saying of that uh, Henry was shaking. That Kyler this Murray has. This motherfucker right here is shaking. Oh, he is bad, shaking. Oh, this is bad play right call. Bad oh play God. call by by he is And now a 17-10 lead. First cracks in the armor <clears throat> for Vy. You saw. Just a little head shake. I think even he knew that was a mistake of a play call. Mr. Football looking to put this one away. First and ten. Far. He's going to throw it up one more time. It's that man again. Terry McLaurin inside the oh red zone. God, man. It's just a laser show right now as you see our past Atlanta Falcons club champions. Boogs, if you remember last year, Nick, and I know you do, that field goal block was insanity but uh what a what a dot right there it's just he's just playing man-to-man -man coverage with no help over the top and mr football just has these elite receivers who's just getting separation oh and he has swerved him pushed to the end zone and I can't believe how this game has gotten away from him they call him mr football for a reason what a second half what a turn of events Mr. Football blowing this thing open, 14-point lead. The momentum has really shifted. I think he just said it's over. Pretty sure. Still plenty of time for VY. Twenty-three seconds left in the third quarter. Look at this one more time. Just hit him with a little, the little El Toro. Just a little shimmy shake. Yeah, Reggie pushed the outside, just a little shimmy shake to the inside, and he goes into the end zone clean. First down at 10. 
BYU looking for an answer to the 14 unanswered for Mr. Football. He'll hit a curl route. It's Tyreek Hill to the 35. This is not really the game that VY wants to play. You know, he's not he's not a known as a prolific passer by any stretch. But he's going to need to cook some up here in the fourth quarter. Fours up in the chat. We got ourselves an interesting finish to this ball game. 24 to 10. Mr. Football with the lead. I'll take the snap pressure no! up the middle. No! Oh, oh my God! Pick up by DRC. Mr. Football with yet another big play on defense. So obvious. He dials it up thing. again. The third time, straight through the A gap. This time with a user rush, he forces VY to throw it quick, and he gets the pick. And that might have just sealed Mr. Football the Atlanta Falcons Club Championship. Phenomenal defense here in the second half by Mr. Football. Ty, we talked to him. Before this game, he said he has a final coming right. up. After this game, doesn't look like he's got his mind on the final. He's just got his mind on this 5K. Man, imagine you're about to win 5K, 7,500 total, getting into the final 32 for a chance to play for 150,000, and then you got to go take a final. I don't know how he's going to be able to focus on that at all. He said he has a final coming up tonight. He's got another one due tomorrow. But he was focused on getting this win, and that focus is evident. Oh, Hit him with the fifth cycle him. from Reggie Bush. On one time. <clears throat> one time for the one time. You heard? And you couldn't ask for a better spot right now. Nice little spin move. Get up there. <sighs> Third and one now. You, if you get another first ten, first down right here, it's really going to make it super difficult on BY. BY is right. down to his last leg right here. you got to get this stop on this third down. Run up the middle for Peterson. And he will pick up that key first down, and that clock keeps tick, tick, ticking away. First down. Back to AP. Oh AP is tough, TD. We've seen it. It's been mostly I Reggie Bush at halfback, but Peterson's starting year, to get some But play. this game's for $5,000, and I'm not losing off of fumbles, so here we are. Yeah, that AP, he's just a beast. He falls forward all the time. What a great little backfield to have. Reggie Bush kind of for your for your outside runs and your passing, and then and then Peterson for these power O's, these up-the-middle runs to be able to run some of this clock. Once I right that way. And there you go, right. Two twenty-six and counting. Mr. Football with his Justin Bieber playlist on. Absolutely grooving. Peterson picks up one. Stop calling him. This is over. Stop calling him. <laughs> this this was over the minute the ball was snapped. Wow. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, but yeah. second half. I mean, definitely a second half type of performance to really put him over the top. GD, you think this uh this kid's got some confidence right now. Oh man, you can see it in him. He is swagging, he's dancing, he's vibing. Mm. I mean, I, I can't argue with him. He just won $7,500. He told us this was the biggest game of his Madden career. And boy, did he show up. And he really established himself as, as someone in this community. I think he might have just been listening to the stream and wanted VY to stop singing. That really fueled him to victory. Can't argue with that either. <laughs> you know, and TD, you know, a, a storyline we're seeing develop a little bit. And listen, in, in no way is it diminishing the talent. And, of course, they've still got Let's joke to go. Let's use a rush. Let's use a rush. Block it. This is a the continued oh, struggles of EMB in the clubs. No. He's looking down. No. And that's picked off. <sighs> that definitely ends this game. EMB has not had the club that. championships that they had hoped. Yeah, you, you, you're hey, right, Nick. They really have been. PS4 though, and so you could secure to like 2.5 grand. But see you later, bro. Oh, he's coming at him now. He's, he's really like, capping hard. Me. Disrespecting him, he said. What? So, when? I, 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 all I heard was some karaoke. I didn't hear a lot of disrespect. Well, but we'll hey, there could have been some. We we'll, might have to ask him about this after the game. There could have been some pre-game chatter. I don't know, but to your point, Nick, EMB, they, they definitely have struggled. Oh, they each other. I mean, compared to TNT, compared to some of these other crews, 818, but we still have Joke coming up. 
uh, who is our Madden 20 Bowl champion. But I think it, I think it is a good argument. TNC has really owned EMB so far Wait, in the head to head. I'm gonna run and this way now. Another tough loss today for for VY and EMB. This one all but official as Mr. Football running down this clock and. TD, this is, this is a little bit of a statement here from Mr. Football. He is not one to be overlooked. No doubt when we get to the end of today, we'll see what the NFC South looks like. But this is somebody who is playing at least as confidently as anybody going into January. He seems very confident. You could tell he wanted this badly. He came in hungry for this biggest game of his life. And this whole game, he's really he, – he hasn't stopped – Talking from the start. I mean, since that first play of the game where he broke off that big, easy, blown coverage pass to Reggie Bush, he's been talking ever since. He hasn't let up. And you could tell he's got the passion, he's got the fire, and it's a big Ooh. win for him. I'm tired. I got a final after this. I'll run him. Peterson to the 30. For VY, another tough loss in the clubs. Still somebody so invaluable to the EMP crew for what he can draw up, but he was just simply outplayed today. Yeah, it's been a tough couple of years for VY in the clubs. So close, you know, these last few years, 19, 20, and now 21. You know, it's it's been tough. Uh, VY, a very talented player, man. Like I said, he's one of those mad scientist type of players where he's always labbing, finding things. So no doubt in my mind, we will see VY back. Peterson will GGs. pick up the first GGs. down. Let's go. GG's in the chat. Mr. Football in the biggest game of his Madden career. He will secure $5,000 <sighs> and a spot in the club championship of fist pump. From a dominant second half performance, 27 to 10 TD. It was 10 all the half of the second half. There's a reason why they call him Mr. Football. He showed that today. He made the adjustments, that A-gap blitz coming in second half. He played phenomenal defense. He told us it was the biggest game of his career. And oh boy, did he show up and establish himself. And the confidence shown by the young man, University of Oregon student. He's got a final at TD. I can't even like process. I know how much of a wreck I was during finals week, and I wasn't a good student. He is a good student. He's got a final coming up later, and he still found the time to compete in this game and put on the performance that he did. Yeah, imagine, you know, the last week he's probably been playing, I would guess, at least five hours a day, trying to get ready for a $7,500 game and studying for finals as a full-time college student. He's had a lot on his plate, but, man, he deserves this. Congratulations. Big time win for Mr. Football. And, you know, TD, there's a long time before January. We still don't know who's going to be in that NFC South. But is it fair to say that this is somebody to keep your eye on once we get to that January tournament? Yeah, I, I definitely think so. You know, he gained a lot of steam this year coming in. He, his defense looked phenomenal. I mean, if he's bringing that type of A-gab heat out of that nickel triple defense and he just works on his offense a little bit, yeah, he could definitely be a player to watch out for in the Final 32. It's interesting to watch that game develop from the, the first play all the way through it. He didn't know how it was going to go until we hit that second half. Let's bring him in, your new Atlanta Falcons club champion, Mr. Football. Congratulations, my friend. What a second half performance. Talk to me a little bit yeah. about where, where you got this confidence from. It, it seemed like once you scored that opening touchdown, you loosened up, you were ready to play. You said this was the biggest game of your Madden career, but it didn't look like it at all. You seemed comfortable. <laughs> No, yeah, after that first play, I mean, I knew I could, like, audible, because not many people do that, and I knew I could just hit him with it because everyone runs man against a uh, strong H wing. So, got an easy touch off that, and that's going to – the nerves went from up here all the way down here. It was just – I felt really smooth. But no, I mean, he, he's a great player. He really is. I just – I really felt confident, prepped a lot for this, and felt like I performed really well. Congrats, Mr. Football. Talk to me about that second half. It Thank feels you. like every play you were coming A-gap, coming at him through the A-gap every time. But just talk about the adjustments you made in the second half because really it was tied at halftime and you basically won 17 nothing in the second half. So just talk about your performance on defense. Yeah, honestly, in uh, the first half, I was trying to zone drop and kind of just like add a 35 wide and I realized he was just rolling out versus it. So I decided to come with a little heat at him. Got him to some third and longs. Then I would come out one four six and sack him or blitz him. So that's really all I did. I mean – I started maying up with players a little more. I started to use rushing out the A-gap more often because he had Josh Allen, so I felt like I could use rushing pretty well. But, Big yeah. question is, are you ready for your final? Are you ready? 
I think All my parents right, well, are watching. So, yeah, of course. Hey, I've been studying pretty well. But hey, I want to shout out uh, DNL, especially uh, J Raz and Marcus Smart. They got me right for this game. They prepped me a lot. I want to shout out to them. I want to shout out Matt and Turf, too. But, yeah. Well, congratulations, my friend. Good luck on your final and good luck in January at the club championships. What a battle it was.